Good morning, everyone. I am getting Wilma groomed today, which I've never done before. So that's going to be really exciting. I think I'm also going to take her to the nursing home today, which she's also never done before. Really taking her out of her comfort zone. So yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along with me. It is 10 o'clock right now. I've already showered. I also wanted to show you guys my skincare routine it literally just started last night it's not a routine yet but too cool for school sent me the rules of mastic line and the line is beautiful like the packaging is really beautiful it looks really like clean the ingredients are also really clean too so this is actually like a clean beauty skincare line it is free of mineral oil artificial fragrance phthalate silicone, parabens, PEG, artificial coloring, and it is SLS and SLES free. And I'm actually allergic to SLS. I don't know if I'm allergic to it in my skincare just because I'm not as like conscious about it in my skincare, but if toothpaste has SLS in it, I literally cannot use it. It will make my mouth break out in sores, which I lived with for literal years. Like I lived my everyday life just having canker sores all the time and thinking like mm, this is my life don't know what to do about it but then i was reading online this article was like if you get canker sores read this and it was literally like switch your toothpaste to an sls free toothpaste and i did and i will never go back but i did take a shower i wash my hair and i'm going to let my hair air dry today i actually wanted i wanted to do my skincare before my hair but my hair is so thin that it dries really quick so i'm just getting it kind of like re-wet a little bit and i have two air dry creams that i've been really liking one is the diva curl wave maker and then the other one is the redken no blow dry no big deal air dry cream my internet friend julia she recommended this one to me and i think i like it better than the diva curl one because it makes my hair feel so soft my hair dries pretty like wavy straight which is why i got the wave maker i thought it might make my hair like a little bit more wavy but and it does a little bit but i don't like the way that it dries on my hair it almost makes like pieces of my hair look kind of separate like separated Whereas this one just makes my hair very soft and smooth and frizz free. It is really nice. So I like this one a lot. Um, I'm debating returning the Diva Curl one, but I also might just keep it because, you know, it might work better in different climates, you know. I might just leave the door open because I feel like Wilma will be wanting to see me so yeah i already used the mild cleanser i used this one in the shower this morning it has a nice lather it's not anything that's going to be like too stripping i have been using my keels cleanser and i kind of feel like it's a little bit stripping like it kind of makes my skin feel a little bit dry but this stuff did not make my skin feel dry but i've only used it twice you know and then the next step that they recommend is the facial tonic boosting facial toner and this is actually a spray one so you apply this at the first step of skincare to moisturize and soften the skin and then they also sent over the ix drop repair serum this is for brightening and wrinkle improvement function i'm going to apply this before my skin like dries down from the tonic spray i listened to a podcast with like a famous skin specialist or whatever and she was saying that if your skin is wet from like your tonic toner water it will make anything that you put over top of your skin much more absorbable into your skin okay and then as far as moisturizers they have two moisturizers in the line they have an ix enhancer recovery balm and then they have an ix cream intensive moisturizer I kind of feel like the recovery balm is good for nighttime and then the cream is good for the daytime. Uh, if you are watching and you know more than me, definitely let me know like night or day or both. I used both last night just to see because it's my first time using it. But I think I'm just going to go in with the cream today. So it comes in this. Also, one thing about the skincare is it doesn't have any fragrance in it, which is really amazing. 
it like doesn't smell like anything I'm just gonna do my makeup right here too I usually like to be sitting but I'm not gonna move my little setup right here. I recently picked up the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer. They were doing the buy two, get two free deal, and I wanted to try their cream blushes, so I picked up three of those and one of these so I can do the buy two, get two free. And honestly, this concealer is kind of nice, which I was not really expecting. I'm using the shade Medium Neutral. So yeah, I'm taking Wilma to the groomers today. I've never done that, but they do typically take appointments, but she asked me what dog Wilma was, and I told her she was literally a six pound hairless chihuahua, like it would take her two seconds. And she goes, oh yeah, just bring her in, like it's fine. So I'm gonna bring her in. I hope my Wilma girl behaves because sometimes she is not the nicest, but I also hope that she freaking behaves at the nursing home today i'm a little nervous to bring her in but also like so our german shepherd goes our big german shepherd he goes to the nursing home and a lot of people really love him but a lot of people also say like oh i miss my small dog at home you know so i think mama would be really appreciated there so i'm going in with my chubby no curvy contour in from Clinique. And then I am taking this MAC brush to blend it out. This came in just like a kit. It is the 13.9 S brush. I don't know how MAC brushes work because they are too expensive for me to own, but this came in a kit, so I didn't like pay for it on its own. But I am happy that I'm getting a early start to my day because it is my day off and I did kind of like want to do a lot for my day off but I am very known for just doing nothing like all day. <laughs> like I would definitely still be laying in bed right now if I didn't make these like plans to get Wilma groomed. So yeah, I kind of like that I'm getting like an earlier start to my day. I'll come home, maybe do some cleaning. I'm just going in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in Opal. I'm going to go in with my Glossier Cloud Paints. I'm using Dusk and Storm and I'm mixing them together. It just makes like the most perfect shade in the whole freaking world. If you want to get an extra 10% off of your Glossier purchase, you can use my link down below. And you can also get both of these colors in a duo. So you'll be paying $30 for the duo for both of them. And then with the 10% off discount, it comes out to be like $27. So I highly recommend doing that. So I blended that out a little bit with my fingers, but I'm going in with my brush from Real Techniques. This is the Duo Fiber Contouring Brush. Oh, should I forgot to get mascara? Okay, before I leave to go grab a mascara, I'm gonna do my brows really quick. I'm just going to use my brow flick, my brow flick in brown, and I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. And then I'm just taking the Glossier Boy Brow in clear. So I'm just going to add some of this hair feel gel to my baby hairs up top. You definitely don't need to buy this product. It was just like some Instagram ad that I got and I just like can't resist a good Instagram ad. But this was selling for like, it was like buy one get one free. So I ended up getting both of these for like 20 bucks but they advertise it as like also being on sale for $20 originally 50 and you know that shit does not cost 50 dollars i am gonna take some of my curvy contour stick and i'm going to put it in my eye socket i'm also going to curl my lashes i have been better about doing this and i'm also going to lightly set my face i'm using my jeffree star powder make my all-nighter my urban decay 
And then for my mascara, I'm going to use the Paracone No Makeup Mascara. I really like fell in love with this guy over the summer. I definitely am going to put a lip balm over top of this because my lips are a little bit dry, but I'm just going to use the Glossier Generation G Lipstick in Cake. So this is the makeup that I'm wearing. It's like my everyday makeup, basically. The products kind of change quite a bit, but this is typically what I look like on an everyday basis. And then my room is pretty messy, so ignore that, but I'm wearing this shirt, I guess. This is from a brand called Love Street Apparel. I just got my package yesterday and I ordered some new bras and I have like the smallest boobs ever, but the bras on the site are so cheap and they're perfect for me. They are like a perfect fit. So yeah, and this top was really cute. And then I'm wearing these leggings. These are from Aria and Brynn. Aria and Brynn, if you don't know, is an online boutique that my friend Taylor runs. And yeah, definitely check it out. These leggings are really cute though. They come with like a little pocket and then they have these kind of mesh star detailing things on the bottom. And yeah, these are really comfortable. You know, cookie girl? Wilma, are you going to go to the groomers today? Are you going to go to the groomers today, girl? Wilma, are you excited to go get groomed? Are you excited to go get groomed, girl? I actually i am going to take this off so you guys can see how knotted up her hair is. So this is Wilma right now. This is her before. She looks crazy she has like all of this knotted up hair just from wearing like sweatshirts and stuff and yeah i'm excited to get her all groomed so we're just leaving the groomers now i didn't get any clips of wilma actually getting like groomed or anything because i didn't want to be awkward but wilma looks so good oh my goodness girl how are you feeling you feel like a new woman, girl? The groomer was able to get all of her knots out, which is really nice. So now her hair is looking nice and fluffy. And Wilma is looking good. Wilma, this is your first time wearing a little bandana too, girl. You're just looking so good. Okay, so we are going to drive home now. I am really hungry, but I don't know... I might just eat at home. I just wanted to show you guys my lunch really quick. I'm eating one of these Chipotle bowls, Loma. It's like a plant-based protein bowl, Chipotle bowl with black beans. And it is really good. Like the little meat pieces taste like meat in it. And I'm also having it with some of my like plant-based queso. And both of these things are from Costco. Costco is like the freaking best. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this True Lime Crystallized Lime. This stuff is a lifesaver because sometimes like we don't have fresh lime in the house and I don't want to leave to go get some. So then I'll just sprinkle some of this onto my food and it tastes like I just put some lime. And I'll link this down below. You can just get it on Amazon. So me and my Wilma girl and my mom are on our way to the nursing home right now. Uh, like I said earlier, George, our German Shepherd, he usually goes to the nursing home, but he is massive. And my mom was saying earlier that like everyone pretty much enjoys George for the most part, but mainly it's the men there. So I'm hoping that Wilma kind of gets like a different audience, kind of be there for the women that are there and a lot of people are always talking about like their dogs at home and they have a picture of their dogs usually and they're usually like little small dogs because small dogs just make like the best companions but I'm hoping that Wilma gets some loving today and she can give some love she she's very very sweet um I'm curious to see how she reacts though because she is a little bit of a nervous Nelly. I do have her stroller though and she really likes being in her stroller. So I feel like if she's in her stroller, she has some treats. I brought a couple of outfits for her. We're just going to see 
play it by ear like we might give them the opportunity to like put clothes on her and stuff I think that would be fun but if it's too much we won't bother doing that um, but yeah we're just gonna play it by ear and see how see how it goes we actually just got a Peloton our family wouldn't financially be able to just freaking buy a Peloton it was a gift from my dad's boss which is stupid nice but I am really excited they send like people out to set it up and tell you how it works and stuff and it just looks freaking awesome like you can take all these live classes with like other people all over the country I guess who also have the Peloton it it just seems wild so yeah we are about to be there I'll take a couple of clips while we're there but I'm not gonna take clips of the people like that would just be awkward but yeah Wilma are you ready to go in the nursing home girl <gasps> Wilma are you ready to go are you ready to go girl this is Wilma's stroller. It is super cute. It is very perfect. I got it off Amazon. I can leave it linked down below. She loves it too. Like we go on walks sometimes with the bigger dogs and Wilma cannot be on a leash. Like she is just so freaking bad for leash activity. So the stroller is freaking perfect. Wilma, did you have such a good visit, girl? Did you have such a good visit, girl? Did a lot of people give you treats and you got to lay in bed with some people too, girly? Did you like it? Oh, so cute, girl. We're picking up George from daycare and Wilma was so freaking good at the nursing home. Wilma, is that a cat? Love cats, Wilma. You love cats. I'm gonna let her smell you. <laughs> okay, we're back in the car now with Georgie. Hey, George. Hey, Georgie. Oh my God. Look how humongous he is next to Wilma. <laughs> He's literally so huge. Good oh, boy. that's nice, George. That is a nice, George. But yeah, Wilma was so, look, she's so worn out now. She was so, let me put my seatbelt on. She was so good for the nursing home. I am like so proud of her because I'm over here thinking that she's going to be nervous the house. Like she's going to be shaking and she's not going to want to touch anybody and let anyone love on her. But oh my goodness, no way. She was so good. She got into bed with people and people gave her treats and stuff. Some of the people that like she was getting comfortable with, like she was like getting ready to like take a nap in their freaking bed. And she walked into like a big bingo game and some of the ladies um, wanted to see her and hold her. And it was so cute. Oh, Wilma. <laughs> All right, me and Wilma are going to end the vlog here. We just got home. I am about to go tutor and Wilma is probably gonna take a nap. She was basically napping in the car on the way here. She just had a long day. So yeah, I already can't wait to come back home and get in the bed with Wilma as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.